Uh, my name is Yam Gurung and I'm the media coordinator of this Gorkha Satyagraha Committee. And Gorkha's issue is not just only the pension or the monetary issue. Most important this issue is about the status, dignity, sovereign and sovereignty of our beautiful Himalayan Kingdom of Nepal. And uh, we have served 2007 uh, uh, for, with unten loyalty and honesty to the crown. But in the end, when the war ended, they sent us empty hand, barefoot back to Nepal. When the population of Nepal was only 5 million, nearly 3 million Gorkhas served during the First and Second World War and other conflicts. And uh, they, neither the Nepal government, neither the British government have got the authentic record of the killed or wounded Gorkha soldiers. And we have been suffering for the past 207 years. Because the thing is, what happened is, uh, uh, they had signed a tripartite agreement between two, uh, three countries, uh, Nepal, UK, and India. But in the tripartite agreement, our government, our prime minister, at that time, Padma Samsar has said that when you take, when you recruit my Gurkhas, you must treat the Gurkhas as the integral part of the British army. But never did it. They just paid. Uh, they, they have been, the right word is penny pinching. You know, penny pinching, it has been going on since 1814. And we said we are not begging the arms with the British government. That is our money. Like when we were in Hong Kong, Malaysia, Singapore, and now Brunei. In Brunei, they collect 2.5 million pounds of the Gurkha garrison. You know, in Hong Kong also, the Hong Kong government paid for the Gurkha garrison. The British government didn't pay a penny. That is our money. We're just saying that we want our money back. That is all. So it has been not going on. Now, why our three uh, warriors have to take a hunger strike? Because we uh, both uh, government officials, like UK and Nepal, has uh, rep uh, made a report ready, joint technical committee report, with the both officials in 2018. And our two, two prime minister has said that, please speed up the report. People, there were 40,000 veterans. No, they all died. There are only 10,000 left, you know. They hardly left. Please, please, please save our guys. But they ignore our, uh, ignore our uh, grievances, you know, plight, technical report, you know. They put it under the carpet. And uh, we want to find out who is doing that. Why, go, why the UK government is, we want to speed up the dialogue as fast and as soon as fast, you know, because these people, we don't want our warriors to die, you know. And unfortunate is that British government fi can find billions of pounds for the COVID-19 HS2, you know, not a penny for the Gurkhas. It is really the same, you know. We want our money, pay our, uh, and British government can, never can pay the debt of the Gurkhas, you know, because it will cost them very happy, the ignorance. So we want justice and equal right from the British government, that is all. That is why, the, because of the ignorance, our three guys are on a hungry strike. We want to shame them. And it is same that uh, the guys are on a hungry strike in front of the 10 down the street, you know, they're dying. And Boris Johnson and his administrative you know, on a holiday somewhere enjoying themselves. This is no good. Please, 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 Boris, listen and sort, sort this mess out uh, until uh, our people, you know, three of the people will die. Save them. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. So how long have they uh, been here? For? This is the uh, final, because there was a 13-day relay hunger strike before on the name of 13 Victory Cross. Now we, we stayed that uh, relay uh, hunger strike for 70 days. Now this is the first day of real hunger strike by, by our three colleagues, one lady. They will fast unto death until, the, until they find a dialogue on our report, joint technical committee report and fast forward, you know. And we, uh, again, I want to uh, urge the, uh, Boris Johnson and his team, where our technical report has gone, please, please, please bring them up, don't put it under the carpet 
and try to solve it out as soon as possible before our three colleagues uh, get uh, sacrificed in uh, their life. And what is the reaction of the people that, that walk past them? I mean, we have got over overhand support by the British public, you know, and the passerby. They are 100% supported, except the government, they're ignoring our plight, you know. This is very sad. Public deport, public, uh, UK public are 100% supportive. And we are very thankful. And our veterans here, you know, Northern Ireland veterans, they are very supportive. They came all the way from Scotland, Ireland, you know. They were very generous, you know. Because without them, we, would, we wouldn't be here. We would uh, like to thank them, you know. Now, I'm a former Gurkha and I'm a, 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 a Gurkha officer. I served 24 years in the British Army. And because of the disparity, uh, I'm also the first Gulf War veteran. And uh, when I returned from my uh, first Gulf War desert storm, my officer commanding, uh, Colonel Sutterwood, sent me packing home back to uh, Nepal in one month. And uh, this thing has been going on on the past also, you know. When the, uh, when the, in the First World War and Second World War, when the war ended, they sent the Gurkhas empty hand and barefoot back to Nepal, you know. So this has been going on, and I was working until the last August 20th, uh, 20th of August, you know, 20, to, because of my small pension disparity, I had to pay my mortgage, you know. And I lost my job on the 20th of August, and um, I was kicked off by the high hierarchy. Still, it is very unfortunate that superior versus inferior attitude still exists in this place, all across the world. We shouldn't be there, you know. So I was also become the victim of my white superiority and I lost my job, now I rely on the food bank and this is how even our guys here, they have to work day and night to pay, uh, to pay the mortgage and life is not very rosy in UK, we have to pay the mortgage, as you step the right foot on, by the door, you have to pay tax, road tax and everything. This is very hard life, so we want that give our recognition, give our pension, we, want, we would like to go back to Nepal and have a peace of mind. That's all. Thank you.